Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy with the DJI Spark. Um, the other day it locked me out. I flew good one battery and the second battery it all of a sudden wanted to update even though I was in airplane mode. Um, my iPad mini is running 11 iOS and it still asked even though I was in airplane mode, had all updates shut off it still asked to be updated to I think 600 and also I shut it off again and rebooted it wanted the .701 so I don't know why it happened um, but right now I'm gonna show you that it's in .701 and show you real quick how to change it back down I'm gonna run the NLD app Alright, so there's the NLD app. Let me turn on the Spark. Make sure you're above 50% on your battery. Okay, the Spark's lighting up. It's connecting to the device. checking out the firmware okay and if you look at it if that can focus in I'm 7.0701 which I don't want that um, if you go into the flight controller it's gonna analyze the firmware it's gonna see what you can turn on and turn off I, it's not even in their specs yet the new firmware that just came out the other night um, it's checking available mods it probably can't find anything because uh, no one DJI they figured a few things out and you can't do anything it keeps looking for available mods and it's still all grayed out so let's go to the firmware manager. Um, what I liked originally, it's saying 600, 500, 400, 300. I like the 300. So I'm going to see if I can downgrade the Spark right now, real quick, to point 0300. It's the only one that you can get rid of uh, the no-fly zone. Now I'm not going to edit this video. I'm using my iPhone of course so it's going to look kind of blurry. But I want to do it real time so you can see it. Okay now this is what happens um, when the NLD mod client tries to reboot it starts showing up as a virus so you have to go into okay it's the app Dumbledore run anyways so the NLD pops up as a virus sometimes and when it starts to do the firmwares it also does the same thing. I've contacted um, No Limit Drones and they asked me what I meant so I'm trying to do a video here but that's what happens when you either start up the NLD mod sometimes the 1.2.1.1 or when you try to do a firmware downgrade and the double door kicks on Okay, now it's flashing. I don't want to speed up the uh, video or anything, just to show you how long it takes to go from, I was at .0701 on the firmware, I'm bringing it back to the .0300, and I'm going to hook it back up to my tablet, 
and I'll show you that airplane mode is off and all updates are off but yet it, the other day it still asked me or told me update the firmware or the bird is locked out and it was locked out all four red lights come on and it locks out so it's almost like the spark has cellular but I know it doesn't So I don't know what happened. Don't worry about the drive keeps coming up with the SD card and the spark. This is the only drone that I have trouble with. The Mavic Pro or the Phantom 4s. Uh, I do not have any issues with it trying to re-update the firmwares, uh, the Spark. This is the second time that all of a sudden it asked for firmware and had a lockdown. And this stuff pops up. But I'll do a second vid video where I uh, hook up my controller and my tablet. And I want to make sure that it's still on point zero three zero zero. But once we do the firmware flash, you shut the spark off, turn it back on let it connect to the NLD mod client and we'll do a little bit of hacking Like I said, I don't want to speed up the film. I want you guys to see. So it looks like I'm at like 7 minutes and 41 seconds. We're at 77%. It's funny how the Sparks lights will change around. You'll have one red, one green, one yellow, one red. It's like going from motor to motor. And it's updating every motor or ESC. I know that point zero three hundred is probably not the best um, firmware for the Spark, but it lets you eliminate any of the hassles of the no-fly zone and where I, the areas I live around, I wouldn't be able to fly at all because there's so many airports in my area that even right out my porch I can't even fly. So I'm thankful for the NLD mod client guys and the Dumbledore guys uh, for working all these bugs out and hopefully we can continue to do what we want and as long as we're doing it safely. Alright, we're at 97%. Firmware flash successfully. Okay. So, what we want to do now, shut the spark off. Alright. 
and I'm going to turn it back on and see what we can hack or parameter modifications, whichever way you want to look at it. But you have to reboot. Let it do its thing down here. It's going to look for your serial number and the firmware. Flight controller. Okay, if you notice my board number isn't popping up. It's very important that your board number pops up, you know, plus the firmware. The firmware is correct. Checking for mods, but it's not really finding them. So, what I'm going to do is shut the spark off. I'm going to shut off the NLD mod, cancel that. I'm going to close the assistant. Alright, what I'm going to do now is restart everything. Alright, saying connect to the USB. Hear the little fan on the spark speeding up. I want to see if my board serial number pops up. Alright, so again, nothing's enabled here. It's showing the firmware. So I do have something wrong here. Um, go to the flight control, let it sit again. But I know it can't check for available mods if the board software, the board serial number is not showing up. But we'll let it sit here for a little bit. And then I'm going to cancel out on the video. All right, it usually happens quicker than that. So I'm gonna look into a few things, but that was just a quick test to show you how a virus scanner pops up and how easy it is to go from 0.701 to 300 again. And in the next video, I'm gonna attach my tablet and see what it says on there. Make sure it's not trying to update again. This is Cruz Roy with part one, I'm out of here.